Hey there, welcome back to Chronically Overdressed. I'm Christine, the Glambassador. Today we are diving into the fabulous world of 1930s women's hat styles. From the iconic cloche to the elegant picture hat, we'll explore how these styles were influenced by fashion trends as well as societal changes of the time. We'll take a look back at the glamorous 1930s era and shed some light on the elegant hat styles that adorned the heads of many women. Now, this is by no means a full list of the styles of hats that were worn by women in the 1930s, but I wanted to share with you some of the more popular styles and put names to them. So when you're searching for your own hats, this might come in handy. I also want to direct you to a previous video that I did on 1930s style details. That is a more comprehensive overview of the garment styles of the era. So if you want to do a little bit of a deeper dive into those styles, be sure to check out that video as well. So let's step back into the glamorous era of the 1930s. <laughs> In the 1930s, hats were an essential accessory for most women. Whether it was a formal evening event or just a casual outing, a hat complemented the entire ensemble, adding just a touch of sophistication and glamour. The 1930s were a transformative period marked by significant societal changes and fashion trends. The Great Depression, of course, brought economic challenges, influencing the need for more practical and affordable clothing options. Hat styles like the beret and brimmed slouch hats rose to popularity with their simple but versatile designs, reflecting the desire for more functionality in fashion. This decade was also heavily influenced by the Art Deco movement. Known for its streamlined and geometric designs, this art style translated into clean lines and simple shapes of hats like the cloche and fedora style hats reflecting the modern and progressive spirit of the era. And of course, Hollywood glamour played a significant role in shaping 1930s fashion. Movie stars became style icons and their elegant outfits, including hats featuring elaborate shapes and designs, inspired women across the world. Large brimmed hats adorned with feathers and flowers and ribbons exuded sophistication and captured the essence of Hollywood allure. Now that we understand a little bit more of the historical context, let's explore different women's hat styles that dominated the 1930s. The iconic cloche hat is a holdover from the 1920s. These hats are recognized by their close-fitting, bell-shaped style that really hugged the head and featured a downturned brim. Its simplicity and elegance made it a staple for women of all ages during the decade. The brimmed slouch hat is an updated version of the cloche, some featuring small brims that were generally worn a little off to the side, pulled down over one eye. Details were generally kept simple with additions such as top stitching, one or two small flowers, or even bows. Beret has been a staple headpiece for ages. Originally a men's hat style, the beret became popular among women who embraced a more androgynous style, like Greta Garbo or Marlena Dietrich. Tilted to the side, berets add a chic and fashionable touch to casual outfits.
With the rise of sportswear, knitted caps became a sporty yet chic choice, perfect for leisure activities. Its versatility captured the active spirit of the modern woman. Hats crafted from materials like linen, silk, wool, or chenille became very popular choices. While many women actually opted to make these pretty uncomplicated headpieces themselves, they were also available for purchase at a cost around 35 cents, which compared to the typical one to $2 price range for felt hats, these knitted caps were a stylish and economical option. Inspired by the fascination with Eastern cultures, turban hats featured wrapped or twisted fabric designs encircling the head. Wrapping a scarf into a turban and adding adornments like flowers, feathers, or even just scraps of material were also very popular. These styles add a touch of sophistication to any ensemble, and it allows the wearer to have a day off from styling their hair. Perfect for formal occasions, the picture hat, also known as the halo hat, was a large brimmed wide hat adorned with extravagant decorations like feathers and flowers and ribbons. It exuded elegance and Hollywood glamour. The cartwheel hat is a very wide brim, circular or saucer shaped hat made in a variety of materials, including straw or felt, and it usually has a low crown. It may be similar in shape to the picture hat and the halo brimmed hat, but they do tend to be less adorned and simpler. And the capeline hat um, is a variation of the cloche. The capeline has a much wider downturned brim that extends way beyond the head circumference. It was a popular choice for summer wear due to its light materials and the fact that it covered so much of the face and body to protect from the sun. Women's fashion was evolving and embracing some androgynous elements. Fedoras and trilbies, originally men's styles, became stylish options for women seeking a touch of masculine chic. Women's fedoras featured a creased crown and a medium-sized brim, where a trilby has a much smaller brim, usually about one and a half inches. These hats add a touch of sophistication to both casual and semi-formal looks. Though more associated with the 1960s, the pillbox hat began to emerge in the late 1930s. With a flat crown and no brim, it sat on top of the head like a pillbox, becoming a timeless classic.
and there you have it the 1930s brought us an array of stunning women's hat styles each influenced by the era's fashion trends and societal changes from the practical and modern cloche to the glamorous picture hats. These headpieces continue to inspire fashion today. These hats were not only a reflection of the era's fashion trends, but also a testament to the resilience and creativity of women during a time of major change. Thank you all so much for joining me through this fashion journey on 1930s hat styles. Let me know which style is your favorite and if you found a new style that you are interested in trying out. Join me next time as we continue to explore the fascinating world of fashion history. Until then, stay stylish and I will see you very soon. Bye.